the coronavirus is, uh, that we're experiencing now is one of seven that infect humans. In the last two decades, we've seen emerge three very important coronaviruses that infect humans and cause uh, substantial disease. That has been SARS, MERS, and now this novel coronavirus. They're all basically the same kind of virus with different um, genetic material that has different effects on humans. The value of a surgical mask is a couple of fold. One, if I'm infected and I cough, I prevent those large respiratory droplets from being expelled into the air. It doesn't stop aerosolized virus, and that's a key limitation of those masks. The other thing it does is it serves as a reminder um, to not put my fingers into my nose, eyes, or mouth, not cough you know, directly into my hand and then touch something or somebody else. In the next level of protection is what we would call an N95 mask. These have to be fitted properly to the individual. That does stop aerosolized virus. And of course, we would use gloves and wear the proper protective clothing and eye shields or a face mask. Those are the things that we would do in a hospital, for example, if we were taking care of somebody that we thought had um, coronavirus. But I think the other thing is what we call social distancing. So staying away from people who are ill, or if you're ill, staying at home, not going to school or work or to the mall. The other thing is very frequent hand washing. If you touch something outside your home or uh, you know, you shake hands with somebody who's been ill or you're touching, think of the things we touch, doorknobs, uh, keyboards, uh, telephones, it goes on and on. Wash your hands frequently. Keep your hands off your face and eyes, nose, and mouth. You know, the average person is, is touching that anywhere from 5 to 15 times a minute. So that's a lot of exposure. And those are really key things to be doing. Let, let's not panic here. Let's focus our attention. Let's be thoughtful. Let's be intentional in this. But this is nowhere near the outbreak that influenza right now in, in the United States is. So I, I don't want people to panic. That, that does not help us. Um, there's going to be lots of respiratory, and there is lots of respiratory illness in the U.S. It's when it becomes complicated with shortness of breath and pneumonia or exposure to people where there's a high likelihood that they have this novel coronavirus that we become concerned. But I will say in the US, and I have not necessarily said this in the past with outbreaks, I think we've learned a lot of lessons and we are incredibly well prepared.